Coma Reads is a program bringing people together and sparking conversations in the community through reading. This year's novel selection, There There by Tommy Orange, has shed light on indigenous populations living in urban areas and their stories. We're very pleased to welcome curator Kimberly Dariana and artist and cultural educator Paige Pettibon to share more about one event in particular that is giving indigenous women a space to share their talents and their culture. Um, I want to ask you both, first of all, welcome. The importance of sharing these stories that we haven't heard before and have often been written out of history and culture. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just super important for our resiliency and our well-being for everybody to know about indigenous knowledge and we're here like we've been here and we're happy <laughs> right. to like share with everybody about our culture which is good people have a lot of questions i think and and the experience is unique Paige, can you talk about that a bit yeah i think that when we have more voices especially for our youth it gives them you know a purpose and i think that has been uh, removed for so long and so it is really important and the work that i do i work with people all ages so it's really great to have voices be expressed in not a confined way but into whatever they interpret to be you know being an urban native person you know that looks different you know i see the word world differently and maybe not as i used to back when I was young, and it changes mm -hmm. and evolves. So what I think it's What does that mean, the term urban native? Uh, well, you know, being removed from my reservation, I'm not growing up with my culture, with my songs, my teachings, my mm -hmm. stories. Uh, I have to go find it. And I live on the Piaf Reservation, and they've been generous to share their stories, their songs, their dances. And so I'm still a part of my culture through doing that. And we're looking at some of your artwork now. Tell me a little bit about how you work. Uh, well, this piece I actually made for the Yahout show at King Street Station. Mm -hmm. uh, Asia Tail was Is a curator. Is it a big piece? It's not that big. It it's looks about big to me for some reason. <laughs> I just wondered. Well, it's kind of like me. You know, a lot of people think I'm taller than I am because I have such a big personality. <laughs> so uh, it's a portrait that reflects, um, you know, what we think of as uh, fine art, but putting my myself in that fine art space. So I put the Lashutsi language in the background, the prayer that uh, my mentor, Dr. Aswali Zalmai Zahir, he made this prayer for us to say, to give us good peace mm -hmm. of mind, a good heart for the work that we do. So that was really important for me, especially my journey learning the language and sharing it with others. And, um, you know, I like to make jewelry too, and it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of fun to build um, my, my community by doing Native Art Marts and uh, on Instagram I'm able to share. It's really easy for people to share yes. my jewelry. It doesn't hold a lot of weight like a painting may. Right. It's beautiful. It really Thank is you. beautiful. Tell me a bit more about Tacoma Reads and how this is going to work. So we've partnered with Tacoma Reads to organize two events. Um, one is the Indigenous Women's Stories, We Rise, and we're just, we have seven Indigenous women that are going to share stories and teach um, any community members that want to come. You don't have to be Indigenous and just sort of continue the conversation that we started with the There There project. And we'll also have an Indigenous, or a family day celebrating Indigenous artists. And Paige will be one Paige of the will artists. Be, yes. yes. And when you say family day, this is really meant for young people, parents, families, Absolutely. elders, everybody yeah. to, to come and see and talk about yeah. culture and, and things and that maybe we haven't been exposed to before. You mentioned the word. Um, you know, the young people can have a voice, we develop, what, what does it do when young people have a chance to be seen, when they see themselves in the artwork it's that's very, expressed around them? It's very healing to have your voice be heard and you feel empowered and you grow up knowing who you are and that you're valid, you're validated and you're not erased from anything. You are here, you're a community member, you're, you're, you have a lot of purpose. So. And there's great value in that, right, mm -hmm. for everybody, not just the people that we're going to be listening to in these events. Absolutely. How would you describe that? Um, so my background's in architecture, and I practice this indigenous knowledge building through, like, providing, building spaces and art that reflect our cultures, and it's for everybody to participate in, just because it's 
we've been here and it's really healing for everybody to experience like um, indigenous structures and just understanding the holistic like connections we have as native people. We live in a rich area and I think a rich time when these things are shared and we can all be a part of it. I'm looking around at all of the the art and just thinking this must be mesmerizing to see <laughs> and I'm sure to hear the stories. Thank you so much. We Rise Indigenous Women's Stories is Sunday, October 27th at the Place of Hidden Waters Community Center in Tacoma. The admission is free and everybody is welcome. Coming up, researchers at the University of Washington delve into the science behind what frustrates us. It's so interesting. We'll learn about that after this break.